Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Today we're drinking coffee because it's 8, 10 in the morning and I'm not that much of an alcoholic. Ah, oh. but I woke up this morning, took a shower, got ready for the day, went to Twitter, you know, the thing that sane people do. And I was like, oh, the cultural Marxists, they're out in full force. Oh, yay. Oh, oh, joy. Oh, joy. Well, I guess they were out in full force on August 24th. But let's go over a very, very important thing that I think we should cover as far as a lot of what's happening in our pop culture and our media. So without any further ado, oh, I bet I didn't switch this up, did I? Nope, I did. Oh, hey, cool, I did. Okay, sweet. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh. All right. So this was on August 24th. Uh, d dire gentleman. Um, okay, and he's got an animate fucking avatar. That's awesome. If the show was released today where a disabled girl uh, dominated 90% of the fights she was in was uh, never a love interest to anyone and actually taught the male protagonist 25% of his combat... Uh, combat skill set, they'd call it woke propaganda. Anyway, her name is Toph. Uh, no. <clears throat> that is 100% false, and they are doing two things here. Um, the first thing that they are doing is they are trying to, uh, in, and, and it's harder to do, but historical revis revisionism, right? Cultural Marxists have to revise history in a way that tells you that the only way forward is to the hellscape that the Marxists want you to go to. I mean, the problem, and and they and they they're trying to use a lot of recent history now because when you start getting so far back, people don't remember a lot of things. So they're trying to use recent history as a way to do this. So that's the first tactic that they're using here is a historical revisionism, especially when it came to pop culture and media. The other thing here that this guy uh, either perfectly understands and he's doing this intentionally to misdirect or he's just an idiot. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to say one way or the other. <clears throat> but the other thing here that um, a, a lot of people don't seem to understand about like the woke argument is it has to be based around, which is also uh, cultural Marxism, but the idea of... Um, Critical identity theory, critical race theory, uh, critical gender theory, right? All of those things um, structure, um, have a structure to them in which obviously based on immutable characters that people have, sometimes they're not immutable. Like, I mean, I'm, I won't get into all of that. But anyway, based off of characteristics of a character such as sexuality and <clears throat> color of their skin, and just genuinely how degenerate they want to be, um, you get these rankings, right? These rankings and these points, okay? Toph was never structured into the show in that way, okay? The characters were never structured into the show that way. Um, Toph's character, uh, she was, yes, a disabled girl, but obviously using the magic system found a way to that her disability didn't really bother her anymore. That's called perseverance and strength of will. Uh, most characters don't get backstories like that, right? And there's always character building moments. There's always character building ideas. And this is one of the things that is critically important, okay? One, they you cannot let them historic, or pull off their historical revisionism. That's not possible. Two, if your children are being exposed to the cartoons and the things that you liked when you were a kid, which my kids are, you cannot let your children think that this is the culture and this is what it means because it's not. Okay. That's why it is critically important for us. Oh man, I'm saying critically a lot here. That is why it's critically important for us to make sure that we are watching what they're doing seeing how they're doing it because it's not for us like i said i already had my childhood it's not for our generation that's why a lot of people online are like we just want our entertainment back we just want our that that's cool i i'm fine dude i've seen a lot of entertainment I'm, i'll probably see a lot more like i'm good to be perfectly honest but i 
am responsible for the safeguard of my children and their innocence and their minds and how they are uh, being built and sculpted uh, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually in this world. And so when I see stuff like this and I see the cultural Marxists coming out like, oh, well, you know, this would be considered woke today. No, no, it's not because you don't understand proper storytelling, one. And two, you don't understand where the roots of the, everybody calls it wokeism, but the fourth great religion comes from it is cultural Marxism in the fact that it separates society out based on immutable characteristics and things that they can't change and then decides to classify those people into different uh, structurized um, stru to classify those people into different um, hierarchies depending on these immutable characteristics which and the funny thing is is that that entire the entire idea behind all of this is actually to use the people who are poor downtrodden uh, and really just don't have the time to understand all this against each other, right? Cultural Marxism is a way to, you know, weaponize the poor people against each other. So that way they destroy their own uh, poor and middle classes while the wealthy people do nothing but sit on top of these stacks and stacks of bodies and money that they fucking have acquired over the years. Sorry, sorry, that one. I almost went off the rails on that one. I, I almost, mm, I was that close. Mm, I was that close to shouting into the microphone, but it's not even 8.30 yet, and I just, I don't want to do that yet. I don't have enough coffee. So, yeah, no, Toph, Toph is not a woke character. And in fact, I would argue, like, and keep in mind, this, this, like, whole pop culture stuff, we started with an Avatar Korra episode. That's what we started with. Me and Matt, and I still defend Korra as a pretty decent show, not a great show, and I still don't call Korra a Mary Sue. Like, I will fight anybody on that, right? Poorly written character, yes. Mary Sue, no. And if you go, well, why, how is she not a Mary Sue? You didn't see season three or season four. Like, just throwing that out there. So, as somebody who, like, that was the most important thing to talk about was the Avatar stuff, because I really felt passionately about this. To return to it, I'm passionate about this. I'm actually surprised I don't have any Avatar stuff on my walls. But anyway, thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. If you guys like what I am doing here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share this with everybody that you know. Or if you guys are getting down in some live chats with the people who are fighting the same things we're fighting, maybe just uh, leave a little name drop. Just leave a little, you know, hey, A Drink With Crazy. He's a good channel. Check it out. You know, let the live chats know that you hang out with, because I feel like that's probably the best place to, you know, share and let people know, um, you know, about the channel and what's going on. Also, it'd be really fantastic if you guys go in the description below. There's a thing, it's called Gilded. It's like Discord, but not communist. And it's, you know, not for, run by cultural Marxists. So you should come over, join my Discord. We, uh, I thought we were gonna be more degenerate than we are, but it turns out there's a lot of wholesome stuff in there. A lot of doggo pictures, a lot of cat pictures, you know? A lot of, uh, we're doing a D&D &D thing there, so that's fantastic. But yeah, come and join the Gilded. But anyway, yeah, do all those things. Subscribe, share, like the video. Tell me I'm an idiot in the comments. Like, go for it. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this going. And thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.